English 111, Reading 1, Chapter 8, Ethics in Education, Text 4, Plagiarism Software, Chapter 8, Ethics in Education, Text 4, Plagiarism Software, Plagiarism is a Growing Problem. Recently, researchers did a survey of 30,000 students at 34 colleges. 37% of the students in the survey said that they committed plagiarism. The most common type of plagiarism was copying material from the Internet. Internet plagiarism isn't only a problem at schools and universities. Many businesses, for example, newspapers, have problems with this type of plagiarism. As a result, companies are providing software and services that detect plagiarism. And these companies have many customers. How does it work? Most people commit internet plagiarism by changing words or adding sentences to the original article. Plagiarism software can often find these changes and additions. This software can check billions of digital documents and find similarities and differences in just seconds. Here's one way to detect plagiarism. A company buys a software program. They use the program to compare a new document, for example, a student's essay or a draft of a magazine article to existing documents. It makes a kind of map of the document. This is called a digital fingerprint. Then the program compares the fingerprint of the new document with material on the internet. Another type of product is web-based. A user such as a teacher subscribes to a service and then uploads documents. These are often students papers to a website. The service searches the internet for any documents that are similar to the uploaded papers. The service then sends a report to the user. The report describes the similarities between the student papers and other material on the internet. These services can search through millions of web pages a day. Who uses it? Law firms and even the United Nations are using plagiarism detection software and services. Most of these organizations do not talk about plagiarism detecting. They ask the software makers and service providers not to discuss their clients. Why? It's bad publicity. Companies usually don't want the public to hear about their plagiarizing authors, employees, or consultants. Here's an example. A publishing company hired a plagiarism detecting company. They were concerned about an author. They thought he might be plagiarizing. Their fears were correct. The author, a famous textbook author, was indeed plagiarizing other sources. The publishing company quietly fixed the author's work and no one ever heard about it. The author kept his good reputation. The president of the plagiarism detection company said, I see a lot of plagiarism every day. Most authors, whether a student or a professional author, think that no one will catch them. They think that cheating is worth the risk. This same company also helped a major newspaper. A local university president wrote an article for the newspaper. A reader notified the newspaper that some of the sentences in the article looked familiar. The newspaper used the company's plagiarism detecting software. The software showed this. The article included material from four sources, including the New York Times. It found that 11% of the university president's article was not original. Why not use it? Plagiarism detectors are relatively inexpensive. However, many companies do not use them. Why? Some companies are afraid of lawsuits. They are afraid that if they accuse someone of plagiarism, the person will take them to court. Also, not everyone agrees on the definition of plagiarism. For example, what percentage of copied material in a document makes it plagiarized? Is detection software always accurate? These issues are still unclear. Is it worth it? Many plagiarists work hard to hide their plagiarism. They change words, add new material, and organize sentences or sections of the original material. It can be just as much work to plagiarize as it is to write something original. Since many schools and companies use plagiarism detection, they often catch plagiarists. 
So, is plagiarism worth it? Most people agree. Plagiarism isn't worth the time it takes and trouble that it can cause. End of text 4